So you say you're a Metroid fan. You know, all y'all bitched about stuff, like I showed in the previous part right there. Y'all cancel, trying to do petitions to cancel games. You don't want to play a game because of certain things. It's just so weird. And I'll get through all the my grievances in there. And this is a little snippet of what, what I'm going to do for my um, a new playlist I'm going to show on my channel. You know what? Let me show y'all. Y'all see y'all not your friend. Let me show y'all that y'all ain't no Metroid fan. I'm a fanatic. You call me that, you call me crazy, you call me a Metroid fanboy. But this is one of my favorite franchises in, in gaming. And I and I speak my wallet by buying what I buying good stuff when it comes up. So let's start it off. This right here, original Metroid, not the original cover. Of course, I have the yellow one back from the day when uh, when my aunt bought it for me. But still work to this day. Got this. Got this game second. Cause I wanted to see where the original came from. So that's something. I, I, I've beaten this game five times, twice through this cartridge here, and the rest through digital of which you'll see. But this is what started my Metroid fandom. This game right here. Charles, my boy Raphael, he gave me, he gave me, um, he had this game and he was like, oh, check, check this out. I checked this out, played it. This right here, even though it's arcade, people are saying this is nowhere archaic as this game. But you know what? This right here, I've played, I've beaten this five times. And I've been this three times through here and two to digital because I have it on my, uh, my 3DS. After, uh, I downloaded the uh, 3DS virtual console. But this right here, I could still go back and play all now because it is not as archaic as a lot of people saying yes it's a big screen but it still has a sense of adventure and you can understand and it's up to you to understand where you're going and stuff like that of course right now I remember the patterns but it's still a good game that's why they're remaking it that's why we're saying that from since 2014 that they were working on this and I'll get to that point later but still, still but got that bought that and still in the same case right here I wish I had known when I was young to keep the boxes for I don't have collective purpose, but have it, but I don't keep the box, I didn't keep the boxes. But Raphael, thank you for starting me out on Metroid. Now, another shout out. Shout out to my boy, Troublinks. This is Metroid, Super Metroid. This, this, the reason here, when I, in the place where I live, they won't know console war, ball crap, Sega better than Nintendo, Nintendo better than Sega, and PlayStation. No, we didn't care. We bought games and had fun. If we didn't have the system, we'd go to somebody else's house to play. I had me the Sega Genesis while my friend Troublings had this right here. Had um, Super Nintendo. Now, when this game came out, now this is not the, the game came out. I ask, I basically tell Troublings, can you ask him to get a game when he comes for the, uh, for the uh, Christmas time? He got this game for me to play on his Super Nintendo, of course. He asked his mother, his mother got it. Then of course when they found out, my mom paid the money for this, which we didn't get in trouble. My, my mom paid for for the cartridge, even though I didn't have the console. I still played this game when it first came out, and kind of troublings. And his mom, thank you for that. I played Super Metroid. I got it. I had fun with this thing. But at the point, it was one of my favorite Metroids of of of, of, of the time. No, of course after that came Smash Brothers. We didn't get a Metroid for a while. Then we get Smash Brothers though. My main fighter in Smash Brothers and Troublings and them I could tell you this. Him, Gizmo, all them I could tell you this. Chico and them. Samus was my main and I was wrecking people with Samus. That was my main and that's what I was having fun with. Had fun with Smash Brothers doing that. Then came that I moved to America to college. And I gotta show the next person again. The next person, Kenji. My boy Kenji hooked me up. I have me this right here is a special GameCube. The reason why I say it's a special GameCube because he modded my GameCube and he Kenji also works for Nintendo now at well for a while but he works for Nintendo and he works on um, R&D in the hardware department. This GameCube, this GameCube here was modded so I could play Japanese game and American game, and I got this from him. I didn't pay. For, I didn't pay, pay him because at the time I was in college, and I was just traveling around, starting up my company, my music and uh, engineering company, and I was doing what I had to do. And 
I'm happy that I met Net Twin Network, but like I said, he gave me this this game too that I could play Japanese game and American games. And of course, I had to, I got to play this before anybody come come out, which is this right here, this awesome little game. They own to Smash Brothers, which is the DX, which is Super Smash Brothers. Got this game, played it, and of course was my main in this game as well too. Played the game and had it before a lot of, before anybody. So Kenji and he Kenji has given many games and come from from then on became best of friends and he has given many games and this right here is one game that I am happy for. But thank you Kenji. But then here's the thing. I'm gonna show you why I say I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Metroid freak. Here's the thing. Then came talks about Metroid being a first person shooter. Here you go. This is from the Tronic Monthly at the time. And I kept the page because I was like, what the heck? And you, it, I showed you in a video, there's a video in the card, it's your pop of the card, talking about being hype. If you want to see a video about it, why I don't be hype about games no more and stuff like that. This right here has took me look how crunchy Samus looking I was like no it can't oh that's horrible that's looking bad that was some bad images and I was like they're gonna make it a first person or third person shooter no 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 but you know what I think that's gonna be a crappy crappy game I said dang it but you know what I like my choice let's see what they're gonna do so I still went for it so with that said put that up here that said, I went, thanks to a friend of mine, we got, uh, thanks to Kenji again, sorry, Kenji again, I got me two games, because it came at the same time, so, I got me, Metroid Prime, and, let me focus on it, man, and Fusion, these I bought, these are the original cartridges, Metroid Prime and Fusion got these games I'm gonna try to in a, a week before the game come out I got to play this first because I was scared of Metroid Prime I was thinking oh my goodness what's going on here Metroid Prime the last game has so much stuff in this game that I like and also uh, and the sound effects the bosses and everything so much fun in SAX and also being that this is the, the continuum with the final game chronologically, this also left a lot of holes in in the Metroid universe. But I'll get to that later. But bought this, played that, then came along and played this. And son of a gun, I was royally surprised, super surprised of this game. Super surprised at this game. This was an awesome game. It blew my mind. Still have all the the packages and everything in it. And fusion, I will tell you how you get fusion, and you can combine. And this is where I beat the Metroid again. You can combine. This is where I did the whole Metroid, the original Metroid again, played and beat it. This is an awesome game. It blew my mind away. I was like, holy crap! This is what you call a fun game. I can't believe they did they did this. Nintendo. I mean, all, all of that's, that's back in the day when you had all the pamphlets and stuff too. Nintendo. That was it was that was this was an amazing game. Amazing game. Then came another game. I'll put this up here. Then came another game. I mean, this game sold in the time when it make and I'll say in the time period when Nintendo could get most of their money and made it, and, and it made sense to them. This game sold three million. Metroid Prime, three million. So you're thinking, oh man, this is the best selling Metroid game. So, so of course, Nintendo's like, wow, well, well, Retro Studios, you're doing a great job, and Retro did do a great job. Let's do two years later. Let's do this game right here. Prime Echoes. This is again another game right here. Prime Echoes. Now again, y'all were moaning and griping, and also in Prime Echoes, I'm gonna show you something as well too. As this, I, I as this comes out with this, I have the original fat one, but I'll talk about this as well too. When Prime Echoes came out. 
what this is basically my most favorite Metroid out of the Prime series because you have to keep, you have to think fast keep you moving this to me was the best way sorry Zelda fans but and I am a big Zelda fan too but this is the best use of to me in my opinion the whole dark world light world thing with the ink and everything I like this but I, again this then this sold two million why same controls two years later building star base y'all didn't pick the freaking game up so less in that same spot when you, when you need when it needs to make sense and y'all bitching this game is too hard back then I remember this game was too hard but you know what's funny too let's go back to this and this for a second because again everybody was championing championing stuff Metroid Fusion a great game this is just a this is basically oh the wrong one I'll, I'll put it up the wrong thing right there but you know what there you go this is basically platinum this was there this this is them talking about the game and you saw you see how it changed how the world changed from that crunchiness right there to that beautiful style of art style right there and I'm happy that's what happened and here's the thing though game of the month when I when this game came out tens Metroid Prime good game and this is why I say I'm a people call me a, a fanboy of Metroid I, I, I that this cemented me to think that this is really the front this is what I gotta get all the franchise and this this franchise is so important to me that's my point I was just saying sorry and of course that same in the same magazine they had this which was fusion as you can see 95990 90 Tearing up the charts was Metroid. Here's one from here's one here's one from Game Now, another magazine. A plus, high marks, game of the month, Metroid Prime. Everybody's talking that stuff. Same thing with Fusion. A plus, and right beside that was an A. A plus and an A. Fusion. And this is and here's the funny part, like I said. This is this is look third parties games. Again, it's in C plus D. Nintendo games. Kirby uh, Nightmare in Dreamland B plus. Legend of Zelda Time A. Like Nintendo was. That's why people people need to understand. Nintendo is one of the most high, their games get highly credited and the most quality games. You can say all you want about it. You can hear all you want. But these numbers, these accolades, is what make the, the company the money they make and the software. All right. Those are the things that make the software for the um, make, make the software. So this also came out, got good scores. I don't have I, don't, I had a paper for this one. I don't a magazine clip for this one, but how great scores. Then, as you saw it there, we had the DS came out. The DS came out, and I have that fat DS in the closet. You had this game right here. Make sure you see it. Metroid Prime Hunters first. Got the demo, played the heck out of it. I'm thinking, okay, touch screen, I'm liking this. Let's see what's going on here. Played it, I played it, and, and waiting for this new game that's coming out. Let's put this here, put this over here, put this here. Then came out Crime Hunters. Now came out like the game, but I will tell I will tell the honest anybody out of all the Metroid game, out of all the 14 Metroid games that's out there, this is my least favorite Metroid game. This is at the bottom. The story has a little couple problems. It introduces some cool concept, but the story had some problems that I had. Um, continuity was very messed up. It was it was a, it was a spin-off, and the spin-off story didn't really connect to the that much to the canon. But it was just, and for that reason, that's why I said it because holy crap, this is yeah. But still enjoy, even though it is that, I still enjoyed it. Played played the game, had fun. 
that's that. Next thing came is this. See, you people are like, oh, I don't like the Federation of Force. I don't like spin off and all that stuff. And you know what? I have no problem with spin off. That's why I bought this. I was like, oh, what is this? Metroid Prime Pinball. Let me check this out. This. This right here came in the promo pack and everything. This right here, I picked this up. Didn't pick this is one of the I didn't pick this one day day one, but I picked it up. I think I picked it up three months later when I heard it got released. This is a fun spin-off. What they did with Metroid, the Samus and the pinball and everything, and put it in this game. That's what you call true game design. This is an awesome fun game. I am happy that I picked this up. This is something played over there. That's a spin-off that I enjoyed the game, had fun, and, and did what I had to do with that game. Then of course came the next game, which will be here. Pick this up day one. And so most of these games I picked up day one except for that one so far, right? Let me say except for one, two, three. These I picked up day one. Zero mission. I'm like, wow, they're doing a zero mission. They're pushing it back to Samus, the, the first mission she had. And I like this game. It it showed how the zero suit and also made it easy for people who want to go back and play the original story. And you can play it this way with, with the Super Metroid style, but and or fusion style, but with the same story of the original of the original Metroid over here. Love this game. When that game came out, I guess this was what I'm gonna do. Like this is a local newspaper in North Carolina talking about how saying the games weren't really started, the games really didn't um, pick up yet, but it was praising it was praising Super Metroid. I mean I mean Metroid Zero. That's how big it's funny how people who are technical and wanna be and are fans, they push this thing so people could get it in, but Again, you don't reflect in the sales as much as, you, as people think. That's why this franchise is a part of the pillar, but you don't make it don't sell as much. I got it. Metroid games has never sell a lot of money and sell a lot expensive except for you know, three million, two million. It's not sold that much, but it but it's made it enough you know, they always make its money back and a little bit of profit. Um, like I said, when that game came out, you had people getting it. Metroid Zero Mission, right? Nine, nine point five, nine, 